hello guys welcome to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to allow a user to sign up or you can say register using the firebase so yeah let's do it so open Visual studio code so come here to the sign up page and here what we're gonna do is you can access it by their ID I mean when a user click on the register button if I show you then a user will basically write email password confirm password and click on register so we have to set a click listener i mean sorry a click event on our register button so the id of this one is btn sign up okay so let's come here and just for the time saying i'm going to copy the login code okay copy this whole code and then you can just paste it here now what we're going to do is just change this i mean replace it with our btn sign up so when a user click on it okay and what we are going to do is we are getting the email password we are storing it inside email and password and make sure that the ids are same i mean here you can see the id for the email is email password and then we have a confirm password so before we come confirm password let me just copy paste this thing Okay, and we can give it an error as a C password, which means confirm password. Okay, and the ID. Okay, the IDs are important. I mean that we give assign it the correct ID to it. So yeah, hash confirm password. So if email is empty or and password is empty, and let's copy paste this. and if the uh, password and password is confirm password so confirm password is empty then we are going to tell that is form is incomplete please fill out all fields and then if it is not then we can say instead of this sign in remove this sign in and you can just type create user with email and password and this c is in small english alphabet and this is capital this is also capital i hope you understand this okay and password so if an error occurs then we will display it in the uh, pop-up or you can say window alert otherwise it will allow the user to create a new account so yeah and also if the uh, Password or confirm password is not, I mean, if both are not matching with each other, I mean, if both are different, okay, so what we're going to do for that, I mean, we have to add a if condition for that also, so what we're going to do is just cut this var result control x, and first we have to type if condition, that must check that is the password must be equals to the confirm password only then this code will execute and then paste that code here okay and now the next thing is else statement I mean we have to tell the user that is your password do not match with each other so just copy this paste that here and we can say password do not match with the confirm password let's say not let's say but just to tell the user so anyways yeah i mean that is okay now uh come here to the sign up page and just for your time saying let's come here to the sign in i will tell you guys what we're gonna do just copy the script this whole thing copy it and now let's come back to the sign up and above this body and in tag we can just paste our scripts here okay so yeah i mean if the user is authenticated we are going to send the user to the main page and now before testing the app make sure to save all and one thing which i mentioned is that whenever you test the app make sure to uh, clear the previous history i mean browser history or you can say the browser data okay so clear it so that it can remove the cookies and other site data browser history and that all of these things so that we can test the app in its complete features you can say i mean successfully so yeah now let's uh, 
run it HTTP server now let's refresh this so yeah let's go to the sign up page and now I'm going to type the email okay then password then confirm now I'm going to type wrong uh, password okay wrong confirm password let's click it and it says password do not match with the confirm password okay so you must write the correct password let me write one two three four five six okay and now if I click on this register then it basically create a brand new account and allow us to the main page if we go to the firebase and refresh this then here you can see this is the new account which we now just created now what we're going to do if you just go to the uh, okay that I already show you in the previous video tutorial there which is this thing basically if you click on sign in then it will send you automatically to the main page because we are already logged in okay and yeah I mean this is working really nice so you can now create many account as you want and yeah that's it uh, for this video now what we're going to do next is that in the next video tutorial we are going to work on the confirm I mean the account settings and we will change these uh, some uh, some feature we will change like that when a user uh, click on this I mean type uh, this register form and click on register button then now we are sending the user directly to the main page okay after creating a brand new account here you can see this okay Peter now what we will do is we will not allow the user to go to the main app instead we will send the user to the account settings page now there a user will provide his name his profile uh, his name his user his profile name username address and country gender all these stuffs so once the user do the account settings only then the user will be able to come here to the main page and start using the app so yeah we will be working on that and also on the forget uh, password or username features and then we will finally move to the next step which is to allow a registered user to uh, upload new posts or blogs and to view it and to remove its own blogs so yeah we will be working on that step by step so that's it for this video and see you guys in next video bye for now